So drinking coffee, it's, is it also racist or it's just causing global warming or both? Okay, good question. Uh, uh, if you because there must be some homophobia in drinking coffee as well. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I have not heard that with coffee, but with eating meat. I just posted a story uh, yesterday uh, from the Oxford Union in, in England, which hosts these. They're actually, it's a very good organization. They host actual debates and you have a question and then you have three against three and you vote on it. Well, guess what the winning debate was? A vegan activist went up there and she actually won the Oxford Union debate on meat eating. And here was her here's her selling point. Maybe it'll convince you, Jamie. I'm not sure. Quote, eating meat is racist and an expression of white supremacy, unquote. And the lady's name is that she's an animal rights activist named Carol Adams. She won the Oxford Union debate with those kind of gems. And it was a vote of 115 to 105. Uh, and this is what this is how she did it. So this this apparently people believe this. She said your hamburger comes with a dose of misogyny. Uh, the assumption that the best protein comes from a corpse from corpses is a racist belief. 20th century animal eating requires our complicity in a new colonialism. All of these are direct quotes. I have the actual video if you don't believe me. And it's all about how eating meat is racist. Now, my question is, did indigenous people, have African tribes, have they never eaten meat? And when they ate meat, people of color, is it still racist and white colonial? I don't have the answer for that. But I've got to yeah. tell you, the Oxford Union in England was so persuaded by what I just told you, but this animal rights activist, they voted her the winner and voted to ban meat.